Hello. In this example, I'm going to show you how to apply the chain rule. And for that, I'm going to take two uh, rather simple examples because this is your first time to apply the chain rule. Let's consider the function f of x to be equal to x at power 3 plus 3x squared minus 5, everything at power 7. Now, this is going to be very simple to uh, derivate applying the chain rule. In my experience, students seem to struggle the most identifying where and how to apply these differentiation rules because on an expression such as this you might get confused and uh, start differentiating the elements inside the parentheses first which is wrong so the way to approach the differentiation process is by looking at your expression from the outside in as you notice here what i have is an expression inside that parentheses which expression is raised at power 7 so i have an expression at power 7 that's how i'm going to approach it i don't even care what's inside the parentheses as long as i know i have to apply the power over function which is implicitly the chain rule that being said let's uh, calculate f prime of x applying the power of a function rule we're going to have the power itself 7 times the expression x at power 3 plus 3x squared minus 5 at power whatever it was minus 1, so 6, times the derivative d dx of the expression that we had in the parentheses x at power 3 plus 3x squared minus 5. And now we can continue differentiating this expression and simplifying. So I'm going to continue with uh, 7 times x at power 3 plus 3x squared minus 5 at power 6 times the derivative of that expression becomes 3x squared plus 6x. And now all we need to do is simplifying this expression. I can see in the second parenthesis I have a common factor of 3x. I'm going to pull that out of that parenthesis and multiply with a 7 in front of the expression. And the result is going to be 21x times x to the power 3 plus 3x squared minus 5 at power 6 times x plus 2. Let's take one more example, and I'm going to consider for that the function g of x, which is equal to square root of x to the power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3. And once again, what you notice here, if you look under the square root, we are dealing with a polynomial expression a little more complex than just the variable x, as we used to uh, approach until now. But applying the chain rule, this is going to be very easy to uh, differentiate. However, the way we dealt with uh, roots of simple functions in the past, the same way we're going to approach them with more complex functions as well. So I'm going to rewrite this expression as a power instead of a root. And this is very simple to convert. It's going to be x at power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3 at power 1 by 2, since it's a square root. And now we have, just like before, an expression at a power, even though we have a rational power. So let's differentiate this uh, function now. For g prime of x, I'm going to have the power 1 by 2 times the expression x at power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3 at power 1 by 2 minus 1 times the derivative d dx of x at power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3, the expression itself. Let's perform the differentiation of this uh, simple expression and continue. We're going to have 1 by 2 x at power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3 at power minus 1 by 2. And the derivative of that expression is going to be 3x squared minus 14x. Now let's reorganize this expression in a nicer form. We try to convert these negative exponents into positive ones. And we do that by putting this expression in the denominator. And in the second expression, I already noticed that I have a common factor of x. So I'm going to rewrite all that in the numerator. I'm only going to have the second expression, basically, which is x times 3x minus 14. And in the denominator, I have that 2 times the expression x to the power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3 at power 1 by 2. Now it's a positive exponent, and it went in the denominator of the fraction. And also, these rational exponents aren't very popular. So let's convert that into a root for a final form. So our expression is going to end up being x times 3x minus 14 over 2 square root of x to the power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3, which we can consider uh, to be our final form uh, in a simple compact format. So I hope these examples help you getting started applying the chain rule.
We're going to continue with more uh, complex examples, but for now, thanks for watching.